hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so um there is uh, nedu wazobia and his wife they are back on the dragging street or whatever you want to call it i don't even know what to say it at this moment let me quickly introduce them for anyone that does not know that does not know them nedu wazobia is a nigerian comedian and uh, I think about a year ago, his uh, wife came out. Okay, basically what happened from what we gathered at the end of the day is that this he was dating a lady. And this lady at the time, she said she was dating one other. I don't know if she was dating two people. I think she was dating two people or whatever. And then this one became serious or something like that. Or she ended one relationship for one. Something like that. But somehow there was kind of like in between. And then she ended up marrying this guy and if you see their wedding pictures you can see she was truly pregnant uh, in the wedding pictures you know from, from somehow since she did it that's how she explained it she was pregnant but she, it happens to be that the pregnancy belonged to the other guy but they didn't know so and then they got married they have this son and then they ended up having two more children somehow i don't know how it happened eventually the there was a whatever they ended up doing dna and they found out that the other two that were born after the wedding belonged to the man and their two daughters but that son the first child that she was pregnant with it does not belong to the man and they went their separate ways the marriage was over she came on social media to drag him because he he he, he basically walked away from the marriage i think after he found out that the baby the oldest the only son is not his and uh, she came out of social media to expose him for not uh, caring for the providing for the children and all of that and that was the drama last year uh that was over the guy eventually came up and said yeah he was going to care for his children i think that for the girls if i'm not mistaken for the girls he was not going to i don't think he was going to he was adding that boy to the equation so that is the history of this couple so they've gone their separate ways so uh, this guy made the post as i'm making this video it was 23 hours earlier to introduce after one year, introduce this new woman onto social media. And basically, I'm going to just read it. Let me read it to be sure I'm saying it the right way. I think he said something like the new, or did he say the queen of the castle or the new queen of the castle? So, yeah, he said the uh, queen of the castle. That's what he posted. And then the ex-wife, 17 hours ago, made a post on her Insta story. And she said, she didn't put anybody's name, let's say that. But she made a post in which she said, Emotional abusers are nice and sweet to everyone except the person they are abusing. People would think they are lying about them. That's all she posted. Maybe she was referring to him, maybe she was not. But the way blogs have carried it and people have carried it is that he was indirectly re referring to him. Because she claimed when the story was out last time, you know, when it was being dragged all over social media, she claimed that he was uh, physical with her. So... I think that's why people are joining two plus two and they feel like they are arriving to four okay so after she made that post she started being dragged on the internet and then she posted this and said una good day all right she still has not said a single word about him right so we cannot be 100 percent sure it's very easy to insinuate the insinuation may be correct may not be but we cannot 100 percent uh, say that that is what it is and then after that she made it that was three hours ago she said una good day uh, all right another one she posted and said that threats up and down one of many uh, somebody wrote her this and said shut up you witch you give person another man child come they talk about domestic violence they don't beat you well. If not me, I feel you. Can you imagine that? So this person equates, you know, the child. Okay, let's be honest. I've looked at this story before. And I said, okay, if any of those two that were born after the wedding happened not to be the man's child, uh, the, ma the man's children, then I can 100% say, okay, she was unfaithful in her marriage. But when she explained it, I'm telling you that I'm just saying, I'm not saying she's right, she's not right. I'm that when she explained it, that you know she was in between two guys kind of a thing and one relationship ended the other one started something like that whether she chose this one above the other one we can see so okay she was unfaithful before the marriage not unfaithful in the marriage and okay do you know what i'm trying to say but i'm not coming here to say unfaithfulness is correct but let's be honest a lot of people do it some men they are just do you know some men that they are dating several women until they decide that this one i'll go marry so women do it too. A lot of women have said it that, ah, this one be like, say, no serious. So they were just giving the other guy a chance as who will be serious at the end of the day. Let's, if we're going to be honest, that happens. Okay, so going back to what I'm saying, but this person now is saying that if it's him, he's not using it to excuse DV in a marriage, domestic violence, right? And saying if it's him, he would have killed her. 
like imagine that um she even replied thank you sir to this one and this one says uh, some people no get shame sha after you he tagged her hazel uzo give give man another man picking suppose they hide face make them no pour hot oil for your for your eye bloody actress and then she posted this one a post made by ay she said make i use this one hold body meaning let me just use this one let me hold on to this let's put it that way that's the best way i can explain it for those that may not understand pigeon so ay posted and it's time to stop seeking validation from social media no matter the truth or lies about you or your personality those who love you will still love you save yourself from depression uh, protect your mental health connect spend time and build relationships with real people in your life right so she's like okay she wants to focus on this and you know all of that and that he makes a lot of sense because we've seen a lot of especially in our nigerian social media our nigerian celebrities nowadays there's too much of their business on social media and people get to have opinions and uh, you know their suggestions or whatever because they're putting them out there so that's what that guy is referring to and he's making a lot of sense it's going on way too much too much of private lives being put in the public coming to this particular thing i'm not going to say she's directly referring to him maybe she is maybe she's not but let me say this for anybody male or female if a relationship ends to a great extent sometimes when somebody new comes in there's that sense of there can't be that sense of that used to be my space that used to be my spot that used to be my place if that makes sense and that can cloud your thinking that you forget that but it's the place or spot or space you walked away from why not focus it's a natural thing it can happen but pull yourself out of it. Ask yourself, why did I leave that space? In her own case, well, I don't know who left who. I'm just saying, maybe it's a man that left, okay. But, and she's talking about DV in the relationship. There was domestic violence in it. Okay, now you're no longer with him. That DV, domestic violence, is a reason not to want to be in it. So when you get in this place, because he's in a new relationship, if that's what happened, and the best way is to remember why... You didn't want to be there anymore. Whatever pain the person may have caused you, remember that that is why you left. Focus on that. Let the new person, let me tell you guys, let's be honest. Because your own relationship with somebody did not work, does not mean that his relationship or her relationship with somebody new will not work. It may end up working. Two people may not click. Another two will just click like best friends. Let's not forget that. That unfortunately, some people's marriages, relationships did not work. It does not necessarily mean that it will not work with the next person. And let me say something else. Like, I was in a relationship for many years with someone that was in a relationship where there was a physical issue. They were physical with each other. Like, it was a big thing that neighbors came and said to fight. It was, it, like, it was part of their lives. I was with that person for many years. And there was never physical issue at all so whatever combination how do i say it you know it's like a chemical it depends on what and what you add in a chemistry lab that will determine the reaction do you understand sometimes it's the same thing one person may have been in a relationship where something somehow they get triggered i don't know who beat you whatever they get triggered and their combination results in them fighting and then another combination will work in a different way where they would never be. I'm speaking from a personal experience. Because I remember asking, I said, but why would you be physical? And he said, what do you do when somebody hits you first? That's what he said. You understand? Or maybe a woman, for example, will push your head and say, oh, Lori Brook, or something like that. That's what he was explaining to me. So when people will look at my outside and say, oh, these couple are always fighting. But you don't realize that it's something that will run start. So because it happened, basically, coming back to what I'm saying, to look from the outside and say, that relationship went that way. The new one may end up working. Whether it works for him or her, whatever they move on to, is actually none of your business. Learn it may be hard to take your eyes off, but everybody needs to learn to take their eyes off for your own mental health, for your own well-being, for everything that has to do with life and happiness. Forget about it. I'm not saying that's what her own case is. I'm using it as an opportunity. Like I always say, I want my videos to be about learning, about what can we take from it. Take this from it. We don't know why she made her post, but I'm just saying, 
if that is what it is. Let's speak on this aspect of it. Close that chapter and move on. I would say it. Forget about social media. Forget about dragging. Forget about all of this. Have a beautiful life outside social media. Let me tell you guys, I'm not going to come here and tell you what I'm not practicing in my life. I have kept my life out of social media. If Let me tell you. My thing is this. I come here. My private life, I don't put on social media. Okay, I don't like to put my private life, private life on social media. I don't want other people being involved. But, but those that put their lives there, we have to use them to discuss, to learn, to you know, educate ourselves because it's out there. But I would advise everybody, keep your life out. And the beautiful thing about keeping your life out is, is once I close my computer, social media is gone. When I close it, do you know what I ended up doing? I have two phones, which is something I've never done in my life. But I did it because of social media. One is a social media phone where I want to that I want to use for anything social media. Once I turn it off, I want social media to be off. And my normal phone, my normal life. Guys, prioritize your mental health. There's the aspect I want to speak about. All of this drama, whatever, it's absolutely unnecessary. Anyway, that's basically what I wanted to say in, in this video. Um, as always, this is how I feel about it. Um, and as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.